Hey there, it's John, and welcome back to another video. Today we're jumping back into our no crafting challenge. We're, today we're going to be doing something a little more fun. Um, not that other stuff wasn't fun, but today we're going to be running around and modifying or upgrading our village with the materials that we have. So I may jump over to another village. Uh, so you may see a gap in time when I'm not doing anything or I'll fast forward through that is when I have to go to other villages to go gather more materials. Uh, yeah, if I end up needing them or not or go and chop trees or whatever I'm going to do. Anyway, so we're going to turn this place into something a little more fun, a little nicer looking than just a bunch of block walls around here. <laughs> it's it's nice, but I'd like to make it a little nicer. That makes sense? Yeah, I, it makes sense to me too. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we need to go get some materials. Let's go see what we need. Uh, I don't. I know we don't have a whole lot, so we can't make a ton, but we can go and wipe out a forest if we need to. We'll make these walls three tall. I, I like to put this like this level to be glass so we can see outside our little community here and then do a third layer of something for a wall. Yeah, so it'll be a three tall wall. Three tall wall. Three tall wall. Say that fast many times. Hey, villagers. How you guys doing? I know you guys are trying to get out. I really do know. <laughs> I'm going to find a way to make this a little better and nicer so you guys can't leave. Because I, I really, I don't want to lose any of you guys because you guys are, are, are my homies. And if you leave, you're going to die. I, I just know it. It's just going to happen. And then I'm going to be lonely again. And I don't want to be lonely. I want my, I want my village peeps uh, around with me. And, and I want trades. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and go grab a bunch of materials from our chest and get started building. Yes. And then, like I said, if we need more material, we're going to go get it. I'm going to build this tower over here. So I have a bunch of sand cooking in the furnaces uh, to make glass out of, except for I can't make glass panes. So I have just to use the whole glass block. Do we have any more stairs? I think we have some stairs. Or ladders, not stairs. That'll look really nice right here. Uh, then we'll put a little staircase, probably, probably along these lines right here. Uh, we do have some fence posts, so we can use that in a lot of places, and that will be nice. Uh, we're going to have to go back and go get some from that village. I know they, they had a ton of ladders on those, uh, on those blimps and stuff. We'll have to go back and we'll get some of those or vines or something. We can get get any of that stuff. That'll be fine. We need some stairs here too. We need some upside down stairs over here or some slabs or something. We need some slabs for the roof. And we'll have ourselves a nice little watchtower over here. That'll be good. All right, I'm gonna go jump over to the other village and go get some, some ladders and some stairs, uh, some uh, wooden stairs. I think there's some over there. All right, got some materials, came back. Did not find stairs, but I did find vines. Okay, so I've gotten this part done. I don't know if I love this part, but I'm going to continue going. <laughs> I don't hate it. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, cool. I had to switch to jungle fence because I ran out of the oak fences that I found. I had to switch over to the jungle fence that uh, that are over in that other village, uh, which is still pretty good. Still looks pretty good. All right, as you can see, I kind of upgraded all the walls. I chopped down a ton of oak trees over by uh, one of the other bases. Had these are a pain in the butt to chop down, so I didn't chop down any of these because you only get one piece of wood, and it takes forever. So I went to one of the other villages and I was able to chop down a ton of oak trees and uh, I was able to pick up a, pun a bunch of jungle fencing from the blimp city or the, the treehouse city, whatever you, whatever you want to call it, the huge city that we found. We got some of this stone as well from there, the, the mossy stone and these banners. These banners were around some of the uh, some of the structures so we were able to get some banners. We have ourselves a little turret, a little hideout thing or whatever, it was just a little lookout. And then we upgraded all of our walls to three tall and we're able to see out of all of our walls now so we can see outside of our base and see all the terrifying things that are trying to kill us. I also grabbed a ton of lanterns from that other village and I used as many as I could get my hands on with leaving that city still pretty lit up and I replaced a lot of them with torches just so, you know, uh, the villagers have some protection. Oh, there's a tor random torch there that looks kind of goofy. Uh, this area here looks a little funny to me, but it does match the rest of it, so it's fine. It's the only spot that drops off to four, 
uh, for a whole entire wall where everything else is pretty much three tall. That's the only one it's for. I did upgrade the, the little town square right here. Tiny bit, not a whole lot. I wish I could find a uh, campfire somewhere in a, um, in a chest. That would be really cool. But uh, when you break a campfire, maybe with a silk touch pickaxe, I could pick one up. Ooh, that's a great idea. Now that I think about it, that sounds lovely. All right, we'll do that. And then that's our house right there. And yeah, that's our base. Uh, I'd like to keep increasing the, its size and making it look nicer and nicer. You guys have seen the inside of our house from last one, from the last go. Uh, let's go ahead and check it out out here. It looks so much more spacious. I was able to push some of the walls out so we have more room. Uh, this wall, I think, came to here. And so we're able to get another three blocks. Every little block helps here. It gives us a lot more space. And we're going to increase our village size um, as we go along. So that'll be more exciting. Uh, we were able to push this wall way out. This was all the way to here. So it's just the walking path into here, the second block. So we were able to gain another three blocks here. So this makes it feel a little more spacious as well. And uh, I think we did the same thing over here. Yeah, we pushed this wall out quite a bit as well. I think it came to over here as well. We also gained three blocks here. And uh, I'd like to push this wall on the outside of the houses so the houses are inside the wall and the houses themselves are not the wall like they're acting right now. You see what I'm saying? The houses are acting as the outside wall. I'd like to do the opposite where the houses are inside and the villagers can walk around the houses. And then this is the entrance from the bridge. I made this one a little bit more unique. Um, the, we're going to probably do the same thing with the one on the back of the property as well. Um, I did put a piece of wood down and didn't use a fence here um, only because uh, the fences are kind of pointless because the villagers uh, can't open them. So we don't want that uh, as anymore anyhow. So uh, we increase the size of this house here. We push this out from this wall here out this way. It just looks nicer. Um, it makes the house look more substantial. So it's, it's kind of nice. Give them a little more room. And I put a bed upstairs. Um, also found from the other village. I, I did end up spending probably about an hour uh, just mining in, like, in real time. Uh, mining at the other village. Yeah. yeah. This, this is our new village. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, it was a very quick one because the time lapse was really, really fast. We will be doing some more exploring. And I'm thinking I might add a mod or two uh, to the game so we can add some more functionality. Um, as far as things that we could find and whatnot in chests, but that might require me to reset uh, regions of the map. I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you think that would be okay, or you think I should just leave it alone and just add mods uh, that will just make the gameplay a little more fun, because I think that's what I'm probably going to end up doing. So anyway, if you guys uh, could hit that like button if you liked, and follow along by hitting that subscribe button. So until next time. See ya.